All right, in this question, they ask us which value of x is the solution of x over 3 plus x plus 1 over 2 that equals x. So we're solving for x here. And this might seem intimidating, but of course, here we're adding two fractions. So what I might do, I might um, solve this by, by finding um, these common denominator and then adding. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply everything by 6. And my reasoning is just that if I end up doing that, this will cancel out our denominators, both of them, right? 3 and 2 are both factors of 6. So by multiplying by 6, I know this will look a lot simpler. And I think you'll see what I mean in a moment. So what's 6 times x? Well, that's 6x. And then 6 times this term, we'll just set that up, right? And then 6 times this term, we're multiplying everything by 6. Okay, so what's going to happen? Well, let's first deal with 6 times x over 3. x over 3, you can think of that, I'm going to deal with this over here, as x times 1 over 3, right? I'm just rewriting this, I'm not changing anything. And because now I'm multiplying everything, I can group it as I like. So I'm going to multiply 1 third by 6 and then multiply by x. So you can see how this simplifies. 6 times a third is what? Well, it's 6 times 1, which is 6, over 3. 6 over 3 is 2. So that's 2x. So now I've changed this term to 2x. And this is the reasoning behind it, right? Using here, um, I'm breaking apart x over 3. And then I'm using the associative and commutative properties to change the order and multiply these two terms first. And I can do that because I'm multiplying. Now, I wouldn't normally do all that. In fact, what I would do is just look at this and say, oh, I'm multiplying here, and 6 divided by 3 is just 2, which is exactly what I got here, 2 times x, 2x. So now I can apply that reasoning here. 6 over 2 is 3. So this is going to equal plus 3 times x plus 1, and that equals 6x. Use my distributive property again in this term, right? So I rewrote the 2x. 3x plus 3 equals 6x. Add these two, that's 5x plus 3 equals 6x. Subtract 5x from both sides, right? Minus 5x, minus 5x. What am I going to get? Well, this cancels out, and 3 is equal to x. So here, I would choose 3. x is equal to 3, and you can test it. Go back to the original equation. 3 over 3 is 1, plus 4 over 2, right, is 2. Does that equal 3? Yes. So that works. x equals 3. Hope that helped.